Hugo the Hare's Rainy Day. Hugo the Hare came out one day to go to the park with his friends to play. He sniffed at the air and said, I can smell wet, and wet is one thing I don't like to get. Billy the goat had a smile on his face. He was kicking a ball around to Hugo's place. Why are you carrying that? Billy said when he saw the umbrella above Hugo's head. Because, said Hugo, it's going to get wet, and wet is one thing I don't like to get. No, it's not, said Billy. Just look at the sky. The sun is shining. It's warm and it's dry. They talked and they walked, and it didn't take long for one drip of rain to prove Billy wrong. Billy just shrugged. It's only a drop. I'm not bothered, he said. It will probably stop. But it plopped and it plipped and it plopped some more and before very long, it started to pour. It fell on the path with a pitter-pat-pat. It bounced off the brolly with a rat-a-tat-tat. It splattered on Billy from high in the sky. He got wetter and wetter while Hugo stayed dry. Hugo felt bad because inside he knew what a good little hare would probably do. His head didn't want to, but his heart said he should. And he knew his friend Billy was hoping he would. So he said, You're getting all wet, I can see. Would you like to share my umbrella with me? Oh, thank you, said Billy. I really don't mind, but I'd better say yes, as you're being so kind. So under the brolly they shuffled along, until Hugo noticed that something was wrong. Billy, you're pushing me out, Hugo cried. My fur is getting all wet down one side. Billy looked over. He could see it was true. Hugo's umbrella was not built for two. Squeeze closer, he said. They tried once again, but then Billy's shoulder stuck out in the rain. Hugo, he said, I've just had an idea. The umbrella's too small, so the answer is clear. If we want to fit two of us snugly inside, then we need to make both of our bodies less wide. But how? wondered Hugo, not following at all. It's easy, said Billy. We make ourselves tall. He sat on a log by the side of the track. Now, Hugo, he ordered, hop up on my back. All right, said Hugo. Though the plan sounded silly, he ran and he hopped and he landed on Billy. Now climb up, said Billy, and then we'll be tall and out of the place where the raindrops can fall. Billy shuffled along with Hugo on top, and though the rain fell, they felt not a drop. Then, off in the distance, Hugo could see Nat the cat sheltering under a tree. What are you doing up there? she cried. Keeping dry, said Hugo, by being less wide. But I'd rather keep dry standing under your tree. Come on down, said Nat. You can stand beside me. There was only one problem that Nat could see, a great big wet puddle between them and the tree. Billy dug in his hooves to get a good grip. He teetered and tottered and tried not to slip. Come on, cried Nat, there's not far to go. But that was before the wind started to blow. It blasted the brolly with all of its might and pulled Hugo Hare to the left, then the right. The umbrella, cried Billy as they started to sway. Let go of it now or you'll get blown away. But I need it, cried Hugo. We're not there yet. 
I told you before, I don't like to get wet. But the wind didn't care. As upwards it blew, it lifted the brolly and Hugo here too. He flew through the air and like it or not, splash! Wet was exactly what Hugo Hare got. Nat saw that Hugo was really upset. Everyone knows that he hates to get wet, but Nat also knew things could only get better. If you're already wet, you can't get any wetter. So out from under the branches Nat came, yelling, I want to play the getting wet game. She skipped to the puddle where Hugo had crashed, then into the water she splished and she splashed. Then Billy Goat smiled and cried, wait for me. He splashed in the water and that made three. They slapped and slopped in the slippery wet, each getting the wettest of wet they could get. They stayed and they played in the puddle until suddenly something made Hugo stand still. The water no longer plippity plopped. Look, he cried, the rain has stopped. The clouds had all disappeared from the sky. Now it was time to get themselves dry. As they sat in the sun, Nat made up a song and both of her friends started singing along. Poor Hugo Hare, he got all in the muddle Up in the air and then down in a puddle And there Hugo Hare became rather upset Everyone knows that he hates to get wet But when Hugo played the getting wet game He forgot all about the wet in the rain A splish and a splash He began to feel better When you're already wet You can get any wetter They played with the ball for a while and by then all three of the friends were dry once again. But each of them knew they would never forget the wonderful day Hugo got himself wet. And that's the story of Hugo the Hare's rainy day. <laughs>